What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sports Got Next. Today, um, you know, we saw the patch come out for WB2K22 yesterday, and, you know, I thought, how about I kind of work with the slides a little bit again and figure out if, you know, we can make this game an even better experience. Um, you know, 2K dropped the patch notes yesterday, and um, there's a lot of gameplay, you know, mechanics fixed. Some things that weren't fixed, as um, many of you are aware, um, you know, when you go into Superstar and push edit super edit cause edit that yeah, edit custom Superstar, you see that sometimes like it'll crash, but apparently you have to delete everything from there and then after from after the update. But do I really want to do that? I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna um, be looking at the sliders again. Um, like I said, I've been playing this game after the patch for maybe about. Five hours, I think, yesterday. Um, I haven't played much today, but um, these new set of sliders that I kind of was working with yesterday uh, put me in some really good matches. Um, I just did my universe mode, WrestleMania, and you know, those matches were really fun, especially CPU versus CPU. Those were really great to watch. Um, but anyway, let's get into these sliders. So, first, we're gonna get into the gameplay. Now, um, everything is the same kind of as the first video, um, so I'm ha I still have no legend. Uh, simulation, yep, I love simulation. Now, the pin mini game. Um, I told you guys about the timed last video, and honestly, you know, when I put on timed, it made the matches a little more harder to win because of the fact that um, I'm so used kind of now to the rapid. But um, as I said before, timed is offline, rapid is online, so it doesn't change for online. Um, when you're doing the pin online, it's always rapid. It's never timed. So, I mean, it makes it easier online, but for just if you want to play universe mode, um, you versus CPU, I think times is a better option just because it's um, it's a little harder. Um, so you know you're not winning every single match, which I love. Allow had inputs for mini games off, road break on. Um, now, I'm thinking about turning this off, but you can keep it off. Uh, but I don't really like rope break, but I keep it on just because I don't know. Like, I just never turn it off. It's weird. Um, auto reverse for ground attacks, entrance running, like I said before, I love it. So I keep it on and stuff. Uh, payback, uh, post match running, yes, I love that. Uh, blood, of course, subtitles are off. I mean, on, sorry. Uh, old subtitles are on. Tutorial tips are off. You know, we're almost two weeks into the game now, so. I think we kind of understand. Um, edited, created superstars. Yes. Now let's get into the presentation. Everything's on. Um, and like I talked about last time, I think post match replay was off. But honestly, guys, it is so fun seeing the post match replay. Um, I love it. I actually do really like it. All right, let's go into the sliders. Now, this is kind of similar to what it was last video. But I did upgrade um, the more top half. Um, so we're going to go through all of it. AI standing strike reversal rates. I have it at 85. Um, I had it at 90, but it was a little too strong. AI standing grapple reversal rate had it at 80, but I put it up to like 81. Um, I had it at 85, so I miss, you, you, you can put it at 85 too. Um, that's really great too, but I just toned it down a little bit. But if you really want it hard, you really want a good match, 85. Um, AI ground strike reversal rate 84, AI ground grab reversal rate 85, AI finish reversal rate 65. Now I had it at 70, I toned it down to 65. Um, either or, I do like 65 a little more. Um, so AI foreign foreign object attack reversal rate 59. You could change that up to 50, um, 60 or 65. I had it at 65, but I wanted to tone it down just in case you guys wanted to do 59. Entrance running is the same as the last video. Um, like I said, I like it to a point, but then it starts to get annoying because there's some kind of glitch where if you um, do it, and I don't know if they fixed this yet. They could have fixed this in the patch, but um, when your uh, rival comes in during the WrestleMania, during the um, Universe mode, um, they'll come in and they won't fight at all. But they'll, every time you try to hit them, they'll reverse everything until they hit their finisher, which is really weird. Mid-match running, I love that stuff. I have it at 5. Post-match running, I love it. I have it at 4. Referee downtime, always 100. 
basic reversal window 43 ground attack reversal window 45 signature reversal uh, finish reversal is 50 with reversal 60 stamina cost 50 stamina recovery rate 50 stamina recovery rate 50 rollout frequency 65 rollout duration 70 so that's just how long the duration of their uh, um, stun will last when you roll out the ring in multi-man matches stun gain 89 stun duration is 86 now i had it as 90 but i turned it on the 86 a little bit because uh, you know when you're stunned for so long you have to be actually stunned um but i didn't want them, i didn't want them to be down forever you know what i mean Volatility regain cooldown 60 Volatility regain rate 60 ai difficulty damage scaling 50 drag escape difficulty 50 carry escape difficulty 50. now targeting is normal um everything the same as the was before so we looked at the sliders hopefully you guys like them uh, but now we're gonna get to the next portion which is kind of my favorite portion um this is the portion where we actually do a cpu versus cpu match where we actually go into a match and give you guys some gameplay because i know you guys gonna want some gameplay um you're not gonna want to just see the sliders and then not see some gameplay for it so i'm gonna do a triple threat match um i'm not gonna be playing it i will be doing a 1v1 match where i'm playing it but first we're gonna get through the uh, cpu versus cpus versus cpu uh we're gonna do just a normal a normal one i have to make a uh it doesn't matter uh kevin owens you know i got some custom ties on there ultimate warrior and lastly tyler bait all right let's do it for a championship might as well do a double title let's do a double title and we're gonna get into the cpu versus cpu versus cpu match let's go Look out, fellas. We're about to get run over. Saxton, go play speed bump. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it's for the ECW and the ECW World Heavyweight Championships. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the ultimate war. He's held multiple championships, has won so many main events. To be totally honest, I could sit and listen to Warrior pontificate for hours, even though I haven't understood a word he's uttered in years. It's okay, the Ultimate Warrior sounds cool saying it anyway. You just made it uncool. Congratulations, you ruined my childhood. KO and his opponents first from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. My very first oh, night on oh, commentary with Kevin Owens, the very first night in NXT. Since then, he has gone oh. on to have a potentially Hall of Fame worthy career in a relatively short period of time. No, Kevin Owens cares about no one but himself. And that's why he's successful. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. And representing Mustache Mountain from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. There's no question in the incredible in-ring ability, though, of Tyler Bates. And he's gained worldwide experience. 
and he's turned a lot of heads all throughout the WWE Universe. And a very unique style in the ring. Mixture of Japanese strong style, British catch wrestling, with his own very unique gentlemanly flair. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills. Or his mustache. He's got a beard. It actually has a beard, by the way. But the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it legal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it. We are in for something special tonight. The winner here joins rare company of double champions. Championship wrestling going to the Grabs in this triple threat. Heads will be on a swivel on this one with Ultimate Warrior Kevin Owens. And time to bait. The mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. Does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one on one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. Oh my goodness, I'm going to snap the finger. Punch land. Joints in all the wrong directions. Oh, the human anatomy is not meant to bend that way. Tyler Bate is having his way right now. A powerful offense from the big, strong boy. Bate cuts him off. Tyler is going to look to press on the advantage. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. No disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar. Others, doesn't it, Corey? Get off your high horse, Cole. This disqualification match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you the villain here. Ultimate Warrior in a little bit of trouble here. Standing shooting star. That's incredible. Bait up the turnbuckles.
in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Oh, just ended so many matches. Take off. Splash. Climbing to the top rope. He gets back into the ring. Deserves another look. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your World ECW and ECW World Heavyweight Champion. The What's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, so this is the match we're going to do right now, the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the interests, um, just in case you haven't seen them yet. 
and check you guys when the entries are done. about to break out. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, the Superstar. One of ECW's richest prizes is on the line of this one, guys. And if you're looking for a technical showcase, you may have come to the wrong place. This one will be brutal and barbaric. And guys, there's no doubt he's becoming more aggressive inside the ring of late. Hey, as long as it's all within the rules, I like it. When it comes to the WWE, almost no good comes from being mild-mannered. A double title match here. Major implications. Hey, here we go. Now... This is the only time that I probably would be even touch a Fandango, <laughs> but let's get into this match. Now, um, I may be a bit, um, too experienced for these type of matches, maybe. <laughs> the one we won, normal, but... Seeing how I'm using Fandango, it might not really matter. But like the one thing I love about this this slider though is that even even when um you're slacking in the match, like let's say you're beating up like like this, right? And in a couple minutes, he'll be all over you. Trust me. You know, most people really don't do um, CP versus CPU, but if you just want to do um, just watch the CPU, then these sliders are absolutely fantastic. That's what I mean, like, even though um, I was just whipping on, whipping on him like that. Now watch this. Now, usually finishers take about... 
three times, maybe. I think it takes about three times. And I don't play as Fandango at all, so I, let me see. Oh. Just like that. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm too far. Alright, see now usually it's weird because I know when I play universe mode, it takes like three finishers <laughs> to get down someone, but maybe because it's King Corbin, I don't think it's really highly rated, but um, so yeah, that was the sliders, that was the gameplay. Um, I'm going to check you guys out next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy these sliders. Thank you for watching. Peace.